I was thinking really quickly, if we could do five minutes on the website, if we get off the, the PowerPoint, and show folks where the information is and how to access it, I think that might be very helpful for people. I'll make it real fast, because I know you all want to give us comments and, and get the night going on. But if you have to Yeah, I'll put Mitch on the spot to multitask. I think it'd be very important. I know a lot of people are interested in it. Could you come up to the mic, sir, if you have a question? My name is Larry Mott. I'm just curious to see what percentage the project, because this company has spent quite a bit of money probably already this far. What's the percentage that y'all approve and don't approve once it gets here? It's a pretty high percentage of projects get approved. Uh, the 90s, high 90s, a lot of projects we get approved. Now, what I tell people is what they come in with isn't always what comes out the other end. So there's a lot of work that happens in between. But to answer your question, it is a pretty high percentage. Do you get online? Can I take more than five minutes? I know people want information. This is why I do it. I apologize. This is usually part of our presentation, but I know I have folks want to learn more about the project and see what we're doing. And Monica, I can check and see if you get a Wi-Fi password. Can I ask a question? Yes, sir. My name is Brian Robinson, and I'm sure that everyone, or most everyone in this room, has already been impacted by the uh, Southern Natural Gas Line because it's pretty well parallel with it, from what I understand. And I'm, just for the record, I'd go ahead and say that I'm 100% for alternate route. But at the same time, I understand that you, the reason that y'all are here, y'all y'all were trying to do the environmental side of it. Well, the environment, to me, includes me, I, I mean, my family, my farm, it's an environment. I feel like that everybody in this room, landowner-wise, has already been inconvenienced by Southern Natural's uh, gas line coming through. And I feel like we've already had an environmental impact. Whether Sable Trail comes through and puts a gas line through or not, we've already been impacted, adversely impacted. I doubt I could get one person in this room to say, hey, I am sure am glad Southern Natural in 1950 whatever came through my backyard and put a gas line in there. I seriously doubt that. But my point is, we have already been inconvenienced. And I think that just because the fact that we've been inconvenienced, our families, our homes, or our farms, or whatever the situation may be, we have already been put in, in kind of harm's way already. And I don't feel like it's, I mean, I just feel like that it's not necessary to do that to us again. And this, with a large gas line coming through, a 36, we already have a 10 inch line coming through there now. And put those two close together that, you know, in a, that close of a proximity. So, I mean, that was just kind of a statement, more or less. I really don't, I really don't have a question. But well, I that's a great example of a comment, and I was waiting for the question that you just said you didn't have. That's exactly the kind of thing that we want to hear after this five minutes. Yeah. I'm not sure a lot of other people have expressed that same sentiment. That's the example we're hearing right here. So, I'm glad it was an easy question to answer. Do you have comments or just a question? Question. Okay.